living through all of this, oh, and he makes it back. Pyro, he's alive. What a legend! What is he doing? How did he live through? Oh, tournament idea was to like have people vote on it and sort of make it a tournament like for the people by the people we had some sponsorship money I'm from Toronto I flew here I'm coming here from Ottawa from Edmonton Alberta me, me patrocinaron para venir acá y jugar con todos los demás we figured it'd be better to use it to fly out people that like people wanted to see rather than just like put a pop bonus si sí, es una experiencia increíble realmente poder hacer este tipo de viajes La oportunidad de conocer el mundo a través de un juego o sea, es algo que yo nunca esperé tener y nunca jugué para que eso pasara, pero me encanta, no es lo mejor que me ha pasado en la vida. Me gusta el Smash 64 desde que salió, yo compré el juego y me encantaba y nunca pensé realmente que existiera una escena competitiva y... So 64 is definitely going through a revival. What I love about it, of course a part of it's nostalgia. It's the first Smash game I ever played. It's very precise neutral game. So you see people having these battles for a while. Once you get that hit, it's so satisfying. The characters, how they play, they're all very unique. There's only 12 of them, but they're all they're all pretty good and none of them really feel similar. Faro's gonna live. Argos throwing oh, he the this. body! Oh my gosh, and that pot, you see that fireball barely missed. Boom has won pretty much every single tournament in the modern era of 64, the exception being Genesis 3. So he's kind of just this unstoppable, he is play to win, he is patient, he is the Iceman from Canada. So Alvin's coming up here, he's a really quiet guy, and a big part of that is the fact that he speaks no English. Alvin's like the unknown, right? He's coming into this tournament, people have only seen him play in the modern era once at SmashCon, where he got double eliminated by Japanese Yoshis. I think he's a top player. I'm not sure about his other matchups, but he's generally really good at the high tier matchups. Mariguas is from Mexico. He attends a lot of majors, probably almost every major here. He's got a very fast, aggressive, technical play style. When I went to Apex 2014 and met him there, I said, no, this is to play more. I want to do what he does. Yo quiero jugar de la manera como él juega. Margos is, you know, super weed boy. Like he's the hyper kid. He's the one every time Alvin gets it going, going, hey! But then you've got the Canadians. So like the last two, I'd say, of the like top threats were the Z and Revan. That's right. Revan is a Kirby main. He's got a very patient playstyle. He went to Japan recently, and that's only sort of influenced him more. He's from Ottawa, which is four hours away from Toronto, but he would drive all the way down to Toronto and join like almost every single one of the tournaments that we posted. He's just like grown so much as a player, and it's so cool like listening to him talk about his mentality and kind of like seeing the kind of things that he does in his matches. I actually was double limited in tournament by Super Boom and Alvin, which is very important because then I have top level matches, so. And then you have the Z, who's like a tech skill god, plays every character, decided that he was going to go all Fox this tournament, uh, and put on a hell of a show with Fox. There really aren't many people carrying Fox anymore. Definitely seen a lot of, you know, the big three, Pika, Kirby, Falcon. Oh, it's so oh, dude, incredible to watch him sometimes. You saw Canada's performance at this tournament, and we have a couple of other hidden bosses we're looking forward to bringing up in a bit. Oh, so it's smart. so intelligent. Wow. Oh, oh, that'll do it, I think. Yeah. Do wow. It. What a set. So it goes to game five. And if you watch some of those matches in grand finals or even winners or losers finals, the amount of DI they were getting off some of those hits made combos that would normally work not work. Like Marigos kept getting uh, heavily using up DI to get out of uh, some of Alvin's up air chains. What makes this tournament special? Boom, lost. That's only ever once happened at Genesis 3 to Wario. Like, Alvin is legitimately a god at this game. Like, he double eliminated Boom. And did you see the end of set two? Coming against Mar a warmed up Marigos. Marigos playing very well. He just looked absolutely phenomenal. Can you completely say that? Just because Alvin's so dominant right now. And Alvin takes it. Wow. So in a weird way, like what makes this tournament exceptional? Alvin, actually, not Boom. <laughs> so 
So singles bracket had 80 entrants, which makes it the biggest Smash 64 tournament ever in New York City. I was worried at first that we wouldn't have enough consoles. We planned for it. We had a whole bunch of like spreadsheets with like, here's what we do if only if no one brings a console and we have 12 consoles. And so just in my possession alone, I have five carts and EverDrive, five overclock consoles and five regular ones. Everyone, they're kind of, they know the deal, they know what to do, especially because like 64 has a really simple rule set. It's not that hard to run brackets, you don't lose a ton of time to people like stage striking and all that stuff. Oh gets my God. And I do want to say for the viewers, you can't see on the player cam, but there are a ton of people watching this game. Yeah, right a decent now. amount.